Hello, everybody. Looks like the gauge says it's empty. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody, thanks for talking about Greg's Beer Reviews today. We got us a beer from Rogue. This was sent to me by Andrew, who works there at Rogue. Uh, this is their Hazelutely Chopped Tabulous. It's candy in a bottle is what it's got on the label here. And it says here it's 60% hazelnut brown nectar ale, brewed with natural flavor, and 40% chocolate stout, brewed with chocolate. So, is it a brown ale or is it a stout? Whack, whack. It's some of both. So, uh, and as a matter of fact, when you go over to Beer Advocate, they say it is, I mean, a great beer, they say it is a brown ale. And when you go over to Beer Advocate, they say it is an American stout. So, it's a little bit of both. So, we should have a real nice, sweet, candy mess here guys. Uh, a lot of people aren't into these big sweet beers, uh, the peanut butter or, or the candy-ass chocolatey type of beers. They're a nice change. They're, it's a, a definitely a nice change. So Andrew and the guys out there at Rogue, I appreciate you sending me those couple beers and the nice little goodies that was in that package there. Uh, it was definitely appreciated. So uh, let's see what this brings to the table here guys. We know it's going to be a Chocolate, candy, hazelnut kind of beer. Uh, and this is not a big beer. It's only a 5.7%. Uh, says here on Untapped, the IBUs are 51. It says, uh, commercial description, dark, decadent, and delicious fusion of two road favorites. Uh, and I just told you what they were. They're hazelnut, brown nectar, and chocolate stout. So we got a... Uh, a blend of beers here on this so nothing else we need to talk about uh, so let's pop the cap on this while I tell you the cuisine is barbecue the cheese is buttery brewery Gouda Havarti Swiss Camembert Fontina oh not a very big hiss at all that cap wasn't on very tight uh, goes well with your chocolate dishes meats beef shellfish smoked meat game and grilled meat and glass water pint back and all tumbler mugs nine sidel I'm using my favorite tulip glass it says here not recommended for extended salaries. So we're going to save some for the other half because she'll probably like to taste that. Not a big head. It's not even covering it. I just got just a little bit around the outside. I can see the beer down through the center. So uh, over to the light. There is some red ribbiness around here. It's not pitch black down on the thin part of the glass here, guys. Looks like a porter, technically. It looks like a porter in the glass with the red ribbiness around the bottom, so let's put a nose to it. Big roasted malt, there is some chocolate in there. Maybe some hints, uh, like I said, the, the stout part of it is going to overpower in aromas the caramel and the toppiness in it. Because I'm getting the roasted malt and I'm getting a little bit of chocolate. But I'm not getting a whole lot of caramel or toffee or dark fruit right now. But it's right out of the fridge. I am getting some hazelnut. It does have a nice nuttiness to it. So let's give it a taste. See what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Andrew. And all the guys out there at Rogue. And girls. Big sweet beer. Definitely getting the nuttiness 
getting the chocolate, roasted malt, the nuttiness and the chocolate is standing out in the taste more than anything to me. Like a nutty buddy bar in a glass. Not a lot of peanut butter, but I'm getting some nuttiness. Oh no. There is some peanut butter esque qualities to that. Very nice. That is a nice beer. Not something I'd want to drink every day. But a nice change up from your typical stout or your typical brown ale, a little bit of both. Like a 60 40, I think is what they said. So, well, let me pour her a glass and sip on this for a tad, and we'll come back and see where it ends up. All right, guys, I'm back. Got this little left. Uh, very tasty, uh, very nice, very well done beer. Like I said earlier, not something I'd want to drink all the time, but very nice. A nice change up from your typical brown ale or uh, stout, nice blend of the two. Uh, nice chocolatey, nutty taste to this beer. Uh, very easy drinking for 5.7%. Uh, 51 IBUs, not too bitter. Very nice. Uh, these have a vintage on the bottle, so we'll know what year we're drinking. 5.7%, uh, it's not a beer you'd want to sell it for a long period of time. And probably something brand new that they've done this year. I don't think they've done it before. Uh, the reason I say that because Beer Advocate and Rate Beer, neither one has ratings for this beer. So that leads me to think there's something new that they've done this year. So we'd like to know whether it was done in January of 2016 or July or September somewhere so we'll know exactly, you know, how long it's been sitting in the bottle. And in case they want to do it again in the next year or the year after, you can do a vertical if you decide to keep a 5.7% beer for that long. I don't think I would. Uh, but it is a tasty beer. Very well done. So, Andrew and the guys out there wrote, thanks so much for sending it to me. Let me try it. And if you want to send me any other beers, shoot me an email. Uh, I'm easy to get a hold of. I'm on YouTube. But, uh, but if you don't have it, it's gtpucket at comcast.net. Uh, I'd like to get you to send uh, anything else that you would choose to send because they have alcohol stickers on the box when y'all send that stuff and it has to be signed for and I'm at work. So they leave stickers on the door for three days and then I had to end up running across town 30 miles to try to get a time to go out there because they don't open till 10 and they close at 6 and that's the time that I'm open at the store. So I don't have time to go out there and, I know, and they're not open on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday, where I can go out there and pick it up. So. I'd like to get it sent to the store, guys, if you're going to send me anything else. Thanks a bunch. Final show. Well, if I've done it twice, I still didn't get it up. A very nice, low ABV blended beer. Very nice. I do think it's an A beer. Uh, I am going to give this a uh, 8, which is the A-, minus, but I think it is an A beer. I would like to see some kind of vintage on the bottle, guys. Uh, I'm not sure you're dating anything, but you're a big enough brewery where you could. So uh, it'd be nice to have that on there somewhere. So, like I said, Beer Advocate Rate Beer doesn't have anything on it, so untapped, we'll run over there, and they have it at 4.07. And that's A numbers from those guys. So I do think it's an A beer. It is definitely a nice change up. Not something I'd want to drink all the time. But I'm glad I, I got my hands on it and got to try it for you guys. So very tasty. It's a nice, sweet, chocolatey, nutty beer. So uh, a nice blend between their brown ale and their uh, stout. So if you've had this one from uh, Rogue, they're hazelutely chocabulous. Uh, let me know what you think, guys, and come on back tomorrow. Let's dig something out of that fridge. See you then.